Hello, hello, this is Elise from Boss Up Mix Media where you make your choice of what you want to do with your embroidery. Okay, how y'all doing this evening? We are finally going to do the Balloon Girl. The Balloon Girl is awesome because you take your creative and whatever you decide to do, how you want to create it and go from there. I was telling everybody that you can get the, the fabric, which is some pennies, okay? I got it at the Dollar Tree and I now embellish with stitches and uh, <laughs> we have embroidery stitches here. So we're going to do um, watercolor as well, but right now we need to concentrate on the threads. Now, with that said, I have started on a lot of things on this balloon girl. Um, to, to, but today we're going to do the outline, of course, of the t-shirt and we're going to do long and short stitches. Now, you might not want to do that. It's up to you because some people out here have experience in embroidery. But if you're beginning, I'm trying to take you the route that you will be very calm and relaxed and it's not too hard to do. Okay, I even started with the, um, with the wording here which is say hello, life is good, um, beautiful. So that's already started so don't worry I left life there so we can all do that together. But now this episode we're going to concentrate on how to outline the t-shirt and how to do a couple of stitches around your images. Now you see that flower there, don't worry about it because we want to do the flower but I want to show you how to avoid um, sewing on top of that. So with that said, come and join me. Okay, so I'm going to put this on my stand and we're going to go for it. All right, here we go. Hello, hello. Now we have, I have my hoop on my stand. <laughs> okay, and this is the thread that we're going to use. So we're going to thread our needles. Okay, we do it like this. We pinch the thread which is the um, floss and put it right through which it wasn't no problem with this one because you see how big the needle is okay and it's a size 18 then we hold our thread like we get ready to make a fist loop it around three times three or two times up to you but I always do three and then we go hold it make sure you hold that that you looped around and hold it and let it go all the way to the end. And that's what you call a quote, just not. Okay, now we have our balloon girl, which we have all the images here. So we are now, like we put different threads into the balloons. And if you notice, I have did a couple of them before you can see it. So hopefully the next time when we start this, we will do the balloons. I will show you how to do the balloons, but we're going to do the t-shirt. We're going to outline the t-shirt and do a couple of stitches in the um, t-shirt. But if you notice, I put all the balloons high, highlighted, I mean, with different contrast colors. Like this is a, a, a light balloon, which is blue, and I put the dark color, which is the um, blue. It looked like a navy. Okay, and then I put uh, the, um, metallic thread on top of it because we all we're doing is just embellishing the um this this um fabric and we just put our images on okay so it's a challenge the challenge of this is this free form is a challenge is that you are challenging yourself to i point your way that you want to do your embroidery is no one else have this you doing it the way you want you know how you get the patterns everybody had to follow the same routine the same numbers make sure you had the same colors this way you are the boss on your creativity so this is what you want to do what you want to do so you can get the balloons you might decide you want to color your whole balloon in with thread it's up to you what you want to do so meantime let's start we coming up we are, I am now cuffing the sleeves with the thread and we're going down and you notice the image is dark 
because the reason why I have it dark is my usually I don't have my images this dark but I have it dark so you can see the audience can see okay and then I'll go to the other part of this cuff which is the sleeves you know how some t-shirts have cups some don't but anyway here we go we put it here and if you want to make sure your lines are covered, just go slightly over your line, right? Like slightly over and you will cover your line up, okay? So you put that down and then you go in between it, okay? And here we go. We go right over the line again. I'll move my hand so you can see it, okay? And I believe we can do one more time. Can we? Yes, we can. I'm going to try to attempt to do one more stitch in between this. And you go up. And you come back down. Perfect. Okay. I don't know, but for some reason, this thread looks a little bit darker than the other one but that's okay is your is my challenge to myself is my <laughs> is my free form so hey this t-shirt is going to be three different shades of yellow so it's okay if the cup is a little bit darker than the other one and you know what I did this needle I think I did this one in a size this sleeve and a size 24 because it looks like these two are different sizes, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. And if I, when I um, examine it again, if it's like that, but you know what? It's free form, so I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it like it is. Who's going to know but you? There is no blue embroidery cops out there. And this is freeform. And this is not, this is like a sampler. You just training your eyes to what you want. You learning how to do embroidery. I mean, this is not something like you was expecting to do a super fantastic thing. You just want your start this process going on you want to learn how to embroider you so you you did yourself and you learned something now i connected this to the other one now i did it on this side too but you notice right here i didn't do it but that's fine you are doing free form embroidery i just made up a new thing free form embroidery you do your thing whatever you want <laughs> oh boy okay here we go go down the thing is just try to stay in sync with your lines and do not go out of your drawing because you still want people to know that what kind of um, drawing you, you did like this is a t-shirt you want people to know it's a t-shirt though you don't want to really go out your the norm you want to make sure everything is all right so, like I said, in this dark lines here, but you can follow. If you draw it, you can start off with a pencil. But they do have fabric markers, so I didn't use fabric markers on this because I know this is a sampler for me. Because when I do the original one, I will do this again. And then I'm going to show everyone that this, if you can do it twice, the second time she'll be much better. Okay, now see how I connected all three of them stitches together? They correspond, and I did the same on this side. So now we're going to see. You had to follow your lines, though. And I'm going to try to hurry up and do this because I would definitely love to do some short, long stitches. Okay. I will meet you at the end.
gonna do. I just broke it in the back. And right now, I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna cut it to make that shorter. Cause what I wanna do, I don't want it to get trapped and I will tie it later on with another thread. Okay, now, we outlined the whole t-shirt, which it didn't take that long. But now I'm gonna do short and long stitches, okay? And I'm gonna do, okay, let me get it right here so everybody can see me. Okay, I'm gonna do, I say between four and three strands of thread, okay? So when I do, when I just, connect my threads, I tap it on the top, as you see, and I try to get whatever the most side is, that's what I'm gonna go for. So this is four, okay, we're gonna do four strands. All right, so we just take them apart. If you wanna be consistent with your strands though, you can do that, you can do four, make it four all the way. If you want to do three, make it three all the way. But remember, this is free form embroidery. You're doing your thing. And so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so here we go. I'm taking it loose. Put my two strands over on the side. I'm getting my needle size 20, 24, which is this should fit. It's a four strand, but it should fit. Now we take the needle head, hold the thread tight. Hope everybody can see this. So we're gonna pull the needle out, and then we're gonna put the needle through, the thread through the um, needle. There we go, we got it. Oh, huh, got it at the first try, awesome. Now you take your thread, hold it, like this, take one, two, three. I always do three, but you can do two or four, depending on you. What's your lucky number? Then I pull it. Don't worry about that little bit. It's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna kill you. But if you feel that is in your way, <laughs> you can just snip it which I'm getting ready to do for, there we go. Take the little threads off. Oh, by the way, look at my flower here. I did the two colors, or three colors, I should say. And then after I did it, I um, placed the thread on. Then I taken the metallic and put it on top. Even this one, I did the French knots. I add a little color to this um, flower. But that's what we're gonna do to that one up there. But not this episode. We're gonna just do the t-shirt here. Now, since I'm gonna start over here, you can start anywhere you want, but we're gonna do short and long, okay? So I'm going to start here. Okay, this is going to be practically the long, so let's go for it. We're going to say long here. So we go all the way to we get and we go up to the collar and try to stay evenly with your lines to bring it down. Okay, hopefully the thread don't get tangled. Perfect. Okay, now that's your long. That's my long anyway. So I'm gonna come beside it. I'm trying to make sure it don't go into the other thread because we don't want that. So you're going beside it, right? And here go your short. Pull it up. Bring the thread all the way. Then bring it down. Okay. The next time you will see this t-shirt, it will be completely done. Okay, but I just want everybody to see, okay, this is the short one, because we got short, long, short. So this is going to be our short one, go all the way up. And if you notice, I changed the color of the thread too. We're going to do like three corresponding colors with this. So we go all the way down, okay. Now we're going to do a long one, so you go down this far, farther down. Let's try to do close as we can to the other stitch, right? Go up. OK, 
Okay, there we go. And go close as we can to the other stitch. And we go down. Hopefully, you will see that stitch that I just did. And sometimes, I take my thread and make sure it don't get trapped or caught. And then I go all the way down. Okay. Now, you see that we're going to get to a uh, image. So, we see that daisy there. Well, a flower. So, what we're going to do, we pull it. Now, we're going to really go short here because we don't want to mess with that flower there. And you know what? Since this t-shirt is going to be yellow, I'm going to make my daisy another color because I don't. I, I want that daisy or that whatever you want, daisy flower. I want that to pop out. So, I'm going to do that with you guys. But I'm going to just do a sample of it so you can see it what I'm talking about there. Now see how that was all correspond with that? Now we're going to go long, longer than that stitch. And I'll bring it all the way down because we want to bring it all the way down and then we go up. And remember, this is free form embroidery. You free, you freehand. So you just do what you think is best for your t-shirt, but you still want to have some kind of stitch and you want to make it look nice you just don't want to just go and just say okay now here we can't do short and long we're just going to just evenly go between the stitch there and just fill it in because we got to fill it in because the t-shirt is yellow so we're going to fill that in so i'm gonna go real fast on that Don't worry if it's a little gap there because what you're going to do, you're going to come back. I'm going to come back right now and just fill it in. Okay. And we're going to go down. And we're going to do it right. There we go. I think we can do least, at least two more stitches. Let's try two more and then we're good. Okay, how many you think? Should we do one more? One for the road, okay? One more stitch should do it. Okay, there we go. And then bring it back down. That wasn't bad. Okay. Now, see, there we go. Now, I might want to put another darker, maybe a darker or a lighter yellow. So, I'm going to leave that alone and I'm going to come down here. Or I can go here. How about we go here and between that flower? Let's do that. Remember, this free form, we're doing it as we go. Okay, go up. Don't pay attention to other colors because you have your picture there. You have your daisy there. Just make sure you work around your daisy. Let's ignore all the colors there because you're going to cover it up anyway. Okay. And right now, we're going to do... We can't do short and long here because I want to cover that blue spot. I don't know if you can see, but I can see it. I want to make sure that is covered out the way. Pull your thread up, bring it towards here, and then we're going to bring it down. Okay, now we're doing our short because you can't do long in there. And bring it in between. Okay, let's bring it down. We're doing good so far. So... And I see that it's a little bit more, but we're going to, don't know, worry about that because we're going to get in there and bring it up again and bring it in there. And you know what, this is um, kind of embroidery that you're doing free form, but you're relaxing and you're just going up and down with the stitch. 
it's like almost like slow stitch you ever seen them shows I mean the people that's doing this um, segments of slow stitch this is almost like that but I'm calling it freeform because you actually have an image here and you are actually trying to make sure you cover everything you supposed to do so here we go pull it and that's what I like I like to work with fabrics that already have images if I don't like too much to work with plain image I mean fabric that already have objects are on the um, fabric like this fabric has the balloons okay and so on now we can do one more I believe because that daisy is right there no I think we can do two more so let's try to do two more let me see can I get right in there you see where that orange is okay you see the daisy is there at the beginning so we don't want to cover the daisy up because we still got to do that daisy I think I'm gonna do the daisy in pink what do you think guys pink would be nice because it'll correspond with that yellow okay then we're gonna come here on this side okay I hope everybody's getting the concept that I'm doing going up and down we are doing um stitches um basically okay I'm gonna cover that again I want to make sure that orange is not showing that color because we want the yellow to be outstanding we don't want no other color showing and wait till we get to do her face that's gonna be something okay so when we do the pink I'm actually going to, I just decided just now, we're going to do that daisy paint. So the next time when I come on here, I'm going to have the t-shirt practically done. And we're going to do the daisy because we need to, I don't want to lose your people. I want to make sure we have, <laughs> have fun doing this. But you, I think you are getting the concept of what I'm doing here. You fill in short and long stitches and you it's like you coloring. Should we do to her hairline? Let's do to her hair. And then I can show you um, right here. We can go down a long stitch. Let's do it now. Okay. I'm going to go down here. This will be our long stitch. And we're going to do different colors too of the yellow. Because you see how her, you see how the, um, the collar and this color is here. And it's already different, so I'm gonna make another um, color of the yellow, but different. Um, I might go darker in the yellow. We'll see. But, but now let's just do this. Now see how I just went up to her hairline, and the thread is there. Now we can we can go shorter here if you like. It's up to you. Cause you could, I could have went longer because there's nothing there, but I'm going to go shorter. Okay. Because when we do the other color, we can bring that color in. Like the color with the short lines and long right there, yeah, we can bring it right in. So I don't want to bring the two, so we're going to go the opposite side. So I hope you're getting this concept. See how I did that? It's not on her hair. And this one gonna be a long one, right? Let's go all the way down to here. Okay. Right there. Or should I just do it here so when I put the other color in, I can bring it right there. Okay, I'm gonna go right there. So with that, that's all we're gonna do today is the long and short stitch. I hope everybody understands what I'm trying to bring forth <laughs> in this free form embroidery. That's what I'm going to call it. 
and you the boss of what you want to do with your creativity, which is your image. Okay, now see how that daisy is forming there? And we're going to have the other colors, which I'm going to do the other colors, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the next color, and then when we come back again, we will have the third color, and I will show you how you, I will correspond. Because I don't want to lose my audience, because embroidery, you can do this like this right here you can do it within uh, some people can do it in two or three days or some people they just do it uh, a week depending on your speed but since i am showing y'all this it's going to take us a little longer and not only that this is going to be at least three segments because once i get the t-shirt done and show you how to do the image in her t-shirt you can run with this you can run with the um embellish the balloons you can put this like i said you can do the whole balloon or you can put um the um metallic thread on top you can do whatever you want um you can even do um since we went over um french knots you can do the whole balloon in french knots it's up to you what you want to do with this to take over the french knot okay so with that said i hope everybody have an awesome day evening whatever time you're looking at this and join me in the next segment and i would like to see you soon so have a good week we will have the next episode the following friday um like comment and subscribe please the more you help me with this more you will see me because guess what i have so many projects that i'm gonna do with you guys so with that said have a good one bye